There are just a few hours left in the legislative session in Frankfurt. Governor Bashir has already signed several bills into law, but as Mark Vanderhoff explains, there is still plenty of work to be done. Well, there are still some major issues to tackle shoring up the teachers' pension, combating the heroin epidemic, raising the gas tax. If legislators are going to take action on these items, tonight is the night. You know, you, you do all these things at the beginning, but nothing really gets done until the very end. And that's just the nature of the beast. Republican Senator Julie Rocky Adams expects the Senate to work until midnight. Democratic Representative Darrell Owens expects the same in the House. Among the top priorities, raising the gas tax to provide money for highway repairs. A lot of communities are going to pay the price when it comes to road funds and, and repairing roads. And I don't know about your community. I, I've, I've driven quite a bit, and the roads in Louisville are not looking. You know, they look like pothole bill. One Senate proposal both chambers could vote on tonight will raise the gas tax from 22.5 cents per gallon to 26 cents per gallon. The House and Senate have also differed on how to tackle the heroin problem. A spokesperson for the House Speaker, Greg Stumbo, says they are close to a compromise, but that could mean dropping a controversial needle exchange. And I'm not sure I'm willing to drop that because we know that program works. For all the unfinished business, some laws have passed. Tuesday morning, Governor Steve Bashir signed several bills into law, including a measure requiring newborn screening for Crab A disease and early intervention for spina bifida. Any time that you can receive better health care on the front end, it saves a lot of costs on the back end of things. Rocky Adams is confident more good things will come. Calm heads, cooler heads will prevail, and I think that we'll see some good, good legislation result for the folks of Kentucky. Now, if legislators really need to, they could always convene for two more days. But I've talked to people from both chambers and both parties, and they say there are currently no plans to do so. In Frankfurt, Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News.